Are you looking for a budget 4K monitor for gaming and productivity? Do you have $200 right now? Check this monitor out. This is the LG 27UL500. It's a 27-inch monitor with a 4K resolution. It's an IPS panel, which makes it ideal for color accuracy and wide viewing angles. This is very handy for productivity tasks that require a lot of color accuracy such as photo and video editing. With a high resolution and lower 27 inch size, it achieves 160 pixels per inch which means everything you see on screen is pinpoint crystal clear, whether it's text, photos or games, you name it. Now it's not just a pretty face for work, the LG 27UL500 Quite a long name, isn't it? Shines in gaming, of course. But you better manage your expectations since it only has 60 hertz refresh rate, which for me doesn't really matter, especially if you're trying 4K gaming on a budget. Most PCs can barely hit 60 FPS when gaming on 4K, although this kind of makes it a lot less future proof compared to other models with higher refresh rates and quite limited if your PC can indeed handle 4K graphics. On top of that, this monitor also has FreeSync, which means you won't get screen tears and ghosting. And even with FreeSync turned off, the panel just handles games surprisingly well for a monitor just over $200. $200? For an LG monitor? You've gotta be kidding me! Now, I wouldn't recommend this if you're into competitive games though, because besides the lower refresh rate, this also has a 5 millisecond response time. And here's the thing about response time, it only measures the display itself. What actually matters is the total response time where we measure the time it takes from the moment you click your mouse to the moment that your action shows up on screen. We don't know what this monitor's response time is exactly, but I'm guessing that it can be around 15 to 30 milliseconds, of course, depending upon your computer. Another thing that's important to me when it comes to monitors is the brightness. This monitor can hit around 300, 350 nits, which is not a lot, but it's at a good middle ground and it should be perfect if you're just using the monitor indoors. What is the likelihood of you playing your PC outdoors anyway? The screen also has a matte finish that fights glares and reflections, but still, if you're directly next to a window that faces sunlight, you might want to consider this monitor's placement. As an IPS display, it really stands out when it comes to colors, covering 98% of the sRGB spectrum and supporting 10-bit color through FRC. What does that mean? Well, this panel is natively an 8-bit panel, so there's no way you can experience billions of colors from this panel alone. Fortunately, this has FRC or frame rate control, which can switch the colors so quickly that it makes your eyes perceive more colors. It's not quite real, it's just an illusion so to speak, but to be honest, you won't be able to tell. It can also be a benefit for us gamers since, come on, more colors. You won't be playing games like you did in the 90s with this monitor. On top of that, it also comes factory calibrated from LG, ensuring accurate colors straight out of the box, which is pretty useful if you're a pro video or photo editor. It's not just gamers and multimedia professionals that'll benefit from this monitor. For multitaskers, it also offers picture-in-picture picture and picture-by-picture, picture, letting you divide the screen to show different inputs at once. Pretty nifty for productivity. This means you can play games and enjoy something else at the same time. The contrast ratio is standard for IPS panels at about 1000 to 1. It's not the darkest of blacks, but still quite good in my book. Now here's where LG flexes its quality control. This monitor has minimal backlight bleed, which usually occurs if the different layers of the screen aren't combined well. As for the stand, it's plastic and it can't do anything else aside from tilt adjustment, but fortunately this is visa mountable, so you can use a monitor arm with this one. Build quality wise, this monitor is pretty solid. Although, of course, the overall construction is mostly plastic and, by today's standards, its bezels are thick. Of course, they have to cut costs somewhere to make this as budget-friendly as it is. Remember, this is for only a little over $200. If you take a look at the back, it's equipped with two HDMI 2.0 ports, one DisplayPort 1.2 and an audio output. Of course, this is also one of the things that LG cheaped out on. 
it has no USB pass-through and no HDMI 2.1. Of course, it doesn't need it anyway since it's only 60 Hz, but still, I'm surprised that it has multiple input ports. Now, the million dollar question, rather, the $200 question. Is the LG 27UL500 the best budget 4K gaming monitor in the market right now? For the price, it's a compelling choice. It's great for productivity tasks, great for color critical tasks, and surprisingly, great for gaming as well, especially for consoles like the PS5. And of course, this is LG. So if you're on a tight budget but still want that crisp 4K experience, this monitor is definitely worth considering. You may scan this QR code or check the Amazon links below if you're interested. But if you want something with more refresh rate, I leave a link in the description for our review of some of the best budget gaming monitors as well. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. Your support means a lot to me. But until then, this is Marty. I'll see you in the next video.